<laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Murphy's Imported Stout. Imported from John Smith Brewery, Tedcaster, England. Murphy's offers you that uniquely smooth and creamy, wonderful, palatable, full-bodied stout flavor with roasted chocolate and coffee undertones and a biscuity, sweet, pure malt aroma. Let's start here. Diode Quantity 1 and Diode Quantity 1. Oh, that's tough paper in that one. Or maybe my knife's getting dull. Bunch of LEDs and a bunch of LEDs. These LEDs have multiple pins on them. And the two bags are different. One's identified as negative, one's identified as positive. These are probably uh, RGB LEDs, uh, common anode, common cathode. Let's see if that guess is right. 100 pieces, 5 millimeter RGB LED, common anode, 4 pins, red, green, blue, water clear, from Sheng Ming Electronics, and 100 pieces LED, 5 millimeter RGB, common cathode, 4 pin, tricolor, emitting diodes, water clear, uh, $4.01 for each package. So since the uh, listing didn't say... We've got to figure out which pin is which. And I'm pretty sure the long pin is the common pin. And looking in here, you can sort of see the long pin is the second one from the right, which has that big anvil, which the chip's actually sitting on. And then there's a bond wire going across to each of the other pins. Just spin this around so you can maybe see it better. Yeah, so... That one, second one now from the left, because I spun it around, is the long pin, which is the common pin. So, I'll throw one of each onto the breadboard. I've got the power supply set to about 2.7 volts, with current limiting at 20 milliamps. So, no matter what voltage uh, these require, and they're going to be different, the red is going to be, require a lower voltage to get that 20 milliamps than the blue. So here is the common anode um, with the common pin to the positive rail. And if I ground each of the pins in turn, there's the red pin. There's the green pin. And there's the blue pin. Because of the current limiting and the low voltage, that's why it's not so bright. Uh, and on the common cathode, same thing. Um, I've got the common set low. So I take the each of the pins high and there's the red there's the green and there's the blue cool and what did I get I think I, the listing said I got a hundred of each so more stuff for future projects that have yet to be defined due to not paying attention I managed to open this with the camera paused and then unpaused it as soon as I finished opening it so what this is, is a bag of 10 uh, AA battery holders. Let's uh, go to the listing now and I'll be more informative. I promise. Honest. 10 pieces wired connector, 2 times 1.5 volt AA battery holder, plastic case storage box OQD. From Cleo4U, I guess. Um, $3.87 Canadian. Or 219 if you happen to uh, speak Great British Pounds. It's uh, 3 volts, 2 AA battery holders, serial connection. I guess series connection is important. Otherwise, if they were a parallel connection, they'd only be 1.5 volts, wouldn't they? Okay, here's one that was shipped from within Canada, even though I'm pretty confident that I bought it from China. So since it was shipped domestically... It won't have any lying customs information on it. Bag in a bag, okay. Hmm. Wow. 
much packaging. Fourth layer of packaging. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, okay, that is a PCIe connector for computer expansion cards. And that is a USB, and that is a power connector. Um, Typical hard drive power, uh, uh, zero volts, uh, five volts, and 12 volts, I believe. Um, yeah, uh, five and 12 volts and uh, a couple of grounds. Okay. And then that looks like a SATA power connector. I know that because it says so right on it. Uh, this is... Hmm. I'm not familiar with that one. Is that the SATA connector? Okay, and it's the USB. Hmm. Mail to mail USB. That's interesting. That obviously goes there. That can go there. What is that labeled? PCE2 PCE number four. Hmm. So is that legitimate USB or is this, huh, I'm going to have to go and look this sucker up. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Initially, I thought it was uh, to get uh, just an, uh, an expansion slot, but huh, strange. Okay, so this describes itself as USB 3.0 PCIe Express 1X to 16X extender, riser, card adapter, power, BT seam, cable mining. Hmm, so Bitcoin miner guys use this. I got this one from Home Shop Mart, who, as you can see, has no items in their store currently. I got it, you'll never believe this, at auction for one cent with free shipping. So anyway, here's uh, one other random seller who's selling this thing, um, one of the cheaper ones that I could find. So, what does it say here? No driver necessary. Package can one 16x adapter, one one x riser board, a USB cable, and a SATA to four pin cable. Not entirely certain of what I'm going to be doing with this, but hey, you never know. Um, and really, for at one cent, I'm not going to complain. I if nothing else, I just got a USB cable and a power adapter. Okay, after doing a little bit more research, um, I looked up the two connectors. It's been a while since I've built a modern computer, so I'm not completely up on everything. So what this guy does is it um, allows you to plug in a PCI Express graphics card with a standard connector into a PCI Express Mini or Mini PCI Express port if you've got an extra one of those on your uh, motherboard. And then you can physically mount it outside your case if you don't have room. In practical purposes, this tends to be used mostly by uh, cryptocurrency mining dudes um, to get multiple graphics uh, cards on a single machine so that they can use a GPU, the GPUs as extra processing for their uh, mining kind of activities. One thing that I found while looking through this page is that while it uses a USB 3 cable, there's no power goes through it. It's for data transfer only, but more importantly, it's not actually a USB interface. They're just using the cable in a non-standard way. So for my purposes, this isn't really all that useful. But for an auction price of one whole penny, I got a USB cable, a non-standard USB cable that I can cut up and some parts that I can salvage and some connectors and stuff. Not a huge loss. And what do we have here? Uh, 
Charge, I think that says. Hmm, looks like a plug-in wall charger. Which is exactly what it is. Lithium ion battery universal charger, input AC 100 to 240 volts, output 3.7 volts at 500 milliamps, end of charge voltage 4.2 volts, plus or minus 1%. Calls itself a quick charger, safe and reliable. Intelligence can be positive and negate I've charge. Hi. So clearly that is for an 18650, such as this one salvaged from a laptop earlier. Um, positive is that and there. So if we do that, it's aware of it. That's a good sign. New universal rechargeable battery charger for 18650, 16340, 14500, uh, 26650 lithium ion US. I bought it from a Chen Hu store uh, for $2.35, but as you can see, Chen Hu store also has nothing in their store at the moment. Um, like I said I paid $2.35. They're going for, you know, close to that now here's just a random seller product features uh yeah all these different uh sizes of lithium batteries you could see that the uh the negative terminal on there is movable automatic identification and transformation of 3.6 lithium ion rechargeable batteries is the red light when charging and turn green automatic stop filling turn into a trickle long-term plug right then um same information that we saw on the back of the unit 500 milliamps uh yeah and uh, the fifth thing led lamp more led i like leds okay what is in here oh okay just a nice simple little usb three led unit hmm so I've got my power supply set for 5 volts and 500 milliamps, which it's not going to be. Turn it on. Ah, to me that looks warm white. And it's drawing 141 milliamps. Wow, that's quite a bit. And that is blindingly bright. Let's dim it down a little bit for you. It's still pretty bright, actually. Oh, that'll be neat. I've got some other USB, hang on. Uh, damn it. Uh, where, yeah, okay. Here we go. Uh, I've got some other USB lights, which are also three chip. Let's see what they draw. They're also screamingly bright. They're cool white. They're drawing 115 milliamps. Okay. Oh, and I've also got these ones too. Uh, trying to remember what they do. They're going to be brighter. They're uh, eight chips on them. And they're also cool white. That's 222 milliamps on those ones. So a variety of USB powered illumination. And each one of these has been cheap each time I bought them. So I just buy them mostly for shits and giggles. You never know. It's... It, it's fun to have stuff like that. These things aren't really, I mean, they're small enough to fit in your pocket. They're also small enough to lose. This one is, you know, not going to get caught on po your pocket, not going to fill up with pocket lint and everything. So that might be a good one just to carry around, throw in the laptop bag or something. Flexible mini USB LED light lamp for computer, notebook, laptop, PC reading bright from Tau Tree 9518. Um, I got a warm white, they call it warm light. Uh, I paid 51 cents at auction for it and it doesn't look like that. And I don't think we need to concern ourselves with any of this because that's pretty much what we already deduced from looking at it. 
this appears to be a lie. It's only a single normal USB connection. Just like that. So here we go with today's mailbag items. It's another mixed bag, as usual. So what have we got here for shipping times? These two by double A took a month to get here. The 18650 charger over here took a month and three days. This USB LED took two months. The two bags of RGB LEDs took seven weeks. This thing, which turns out is going to be completely useless for me, uh, took eight days because even though I bought it from a training seller, it was shipped from within Canada. However, its uselessness doesn't bother me because it literally cost me a single penny. Now then, let's uh, just quickly, before I wrap up here, this thing's been charging for a little while. Let's see what it was. Remember what it was before? 3.81, I believe. 3.9293 right now. Then one. Okay. The good news is, it works. I'm going to, uh, and that's more convenient for charging than what I had been doing, but, uh, which is just using a constant current, constant voltage power supply, uh, to, to charge them up in basically the 18650 version of this actually. Oh, and all not too bad. Uh, some useful stuff, some useless stuff, just a lot of fun generally. Thanks for watching as usual. And of course, Thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me not go broke doing this. I appreciate those guys over there. Again, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later.